Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you the new feature we have when sharing files or folder in OneDrive for Business. Basically, when we share a file or folder from the, in OneDrive for Business anonymously, anonymously sorry, so anyone with these links uh, potentially can open this file or folder, uh, we are going to have the possibility to specify a password. So we can protect in, in, a, in a very easy way the folder or file we are sharing. To see this feature in Actium, what I'm going to share is just a folder I have in my wonderful business. The same idea uh, is going to apply to any file I share in wonderful business. So, for instance, let's select this folder. And then what I'm going to do is just to share, to click on share, sorry. Once I click on share, I have the same link uh, dialog and I can choose the way I'm going to share this, this folder. In this case, I'm going to expand uh, the settings I have for the link. And as you can see here, uh, since this is an anonymous link, I have the possibility not only to specify what I'm going to um, uh, allow to any user uh, that uh, received this, this shared link, such as allow edit or not allow editing uh, the content of the folder, uh, a specific expiration date, uh, and so on. But I have also the possibility to set a password. This is actually very cool because in a very straightforward way, I have the possibility to protect this link. So anyone that received uh, this link uh, is only going to be able to open uh, the sharing link if uh, he or she knows the password. So what I'm going to do is just to specify the password. As you can see here, uh, the uh, I'm being uh, informed about the strength of the password. So obviously this is a very simple password. So I need to uh, increase the complexity of the password. Something like, like this is good, could be better. And I'm going to click on apply. Then the next thing I have to do is just to uh, specify the people I want to share the folder with. So in this case, I'm going to share the folder with a Gmail account. And yeah, I could also type a message, a sharing message. I don't need that. So I, I'm going to click on send. So the next thing I'm going to show you is what happens from the perspective of the user I have invited, uh, I have shared the folder with. So in this case, I'm going to go over here. Um, as you can see here, uh, I already have uh, open a session in my Gmail account. So sorry for the Spanish. Uh, this is the uh, inbox folder. Uh, I should receive in, in a moment uh, the, the folder that uh, the Office 365 user has shared with me. So I'm going to refresh uh, this tab in the browser. Here we go. And let's hope we have uh, the share, sharing link in the inbox. Okay, okay, here we have. So I can click on this email I have received with the sharing notification and I can click on open. Sorry. And as you can see here, I'm asked to, uh, I'm being asked uh, to provide the password uh, to be able to access to this folder. So I am going to type the password that I, I have been, sh uh, I have been uh, shared uh, by the uh, original user. So he, share, he or she shared with me by a secure medium, let's say that. And then uh, let's uh, click on uh, check. And it's fine, it's working as you can see here. So I have access to this folder. This folder uh, only, have, uh, only has a, a file inside, it's fine. But as you can see here, um, I had been able to access to this folder. Um, I can see the content and I, since I have edit permissions, I can create also content. In this case, I can create a folder or I can load files uh, from my PC. And that's all. Very, very cool uh, way of protect anonymous links uh, with a password. Very easy. And yeah, uh, Microsoft continues to, uh, is, con is continuing adding new ways to improve how we can share files and folders from both OneDrive for Business and SharePoint Online. I hope you have found this video interesting. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.